by the end of this video our app will be looking like this we will work further on this on next video hey guys welcome this is joke apps video one of our new series gaming tournament app so first of all open a sketch work and create a new project choose colors for your theme Give it a package name. Project name doesn't matter much, just choose any. And let's choose an icon for the app. I will select this one. I have already created it. We will use main activity as the splash screen. Not to complicate it much. We will keep it simple. Just add linear image view, text view. We will show the title of the app here. I will also like to show the app version here. Add a simple image suitable for the splash change the background color of the linear to match the image and hide the status bar and toolbar making it full screen our main content will be on another activity so create another activity let's call it home and at the own create we will run the timer Let's say 2 seconds and then user will be referred to new activity which is home activity. In the home activity, add view pager, set weight 1, height wrap content. Add bottom navigation, make it to the bottom. Don't make on create messy. Add a new more block. We will set up UI there. Use this block for adding content to bottom navigation. Use ID is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Set appropriate titles. Then we will add images.
okay now so we are all set here you got to add fragments for each of these pages to add a fragment you know you got to unselect a status bar and toolbar select the fragment from here enter its name click save and you are done with adding new fragment set any content for, for now we will just add simple text so we know there are different fragments we will add actual content later on in these pages or fragments whatever you call make sure to enable app compat and design library and from the settings in bottom build settings select d8 and latest java version available and outside setting config let's select target sdk 34 remove all deprecated methods and use material components and as we already created one fragment let's create three more there will be total four of the pages you can choose any but i'm keeping four for now we have to add on navigation item selected event but we will add things later first let's add fragment adapter here at the set ui set up fragments adapter uh, we will add four tabs as we decided In the on navigation item selected event set view pages current item to the item id and in the components here on tab added we will set tab titles using a false statement if position is a zero set if title of first position is one set title of second etc etc And here at on fragment added, we will add similar if if statements. If position is equal to zero, one, two, three, like that, and then we will use ASD return new. Then name of your fragment activity. And 
end the statement with semicolon repeat the process for all four fragments and now we are good to go let's compile the app it's asking for a scanning i trust the application so let's install without a scanning and maybe you can see the white space around these fragments it is due to view pager's default uh, padding let's set it zero now you will see the issue is fixed but if you notice there is another issue if you change the fragments from bottom navigation it is good but if you swipe left or right fragments are getting changed but items selected in the bottom navigation are not changing so let's fix it and the view page runs on page selected event copy the id of bottom navigation paste it and then add this code dot set selected item id dash position close the statement and tada the issue has been resolved i hope you liked this video please like and share this video with your friends if they are programmers and leave a comment for appreciation we will make more videos like that thank you